I don't think this video needs much of an introduction. You read the title. You know why you're here. Let's not kid ourselves here. Music. We all know this fact. This is a very well-documented fact about weed. This ain't no damn theory. Th this is this is a pin law. But honestly, it's not just music. No, no, no. You, you need to look at the bigger picture. Weed just makes everything sound better. I'll be in my car being serenaded by the sounds of my busted-ass alternator and my 2008 Corolla. Another thing too is when you're high, playing a song you haven't heard in a while truly feels like the first time listening to it again. And you will have the same emotions that you had listening to it back then. I remember I was high and I teared up the fucking Fade by Alan Walker. The copyright free version too. I was bawling my eyes out to the fucking top 10 deadliest water slide song. I, I don't know man, there's just, just something about it. Just, just in the moment, it, just, it was a beautiful track. I love the intro to it and you... You know, you know, fuck you guys. I don't have to explain myself. Video games. Hey, fuck this shit. I'm jerking off. Another one everyone probably knows. Being honest, though, your enjoyment depends a lot on the game you're playing. There's no way you can just hop on League Faded and actually feel good about yourself while doing it. So I'm gonna just list some good ass games to play Minecraft. This one only slaps if you haven't played the game in a long ass time. It's gotta be during the annual two week Minecraft phase we get. Any other time, you'll be bored in 10 minutes. Old COD campaigns. This could also just be really any older game. I don't know, just something about those old Xbox 360 games that feel so cozy to play. Like bro. We've got it, sir. Good. That's one less loose end. No! Watching that cutscene faded does something to a motherfucker. Balloons TD. Okay. Hear me out? The noises of the balloons popping is so fucking lit when you're at the brain melting level of cooked. Also, they got wizard monkeys. I, 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 I fuck with bro. Mindlessly moving up and down in 2048. Okay. Hear me out. When brain meltingly cooked and maybe a little autistic, this shit hits so hard. Okay. Hear me out. What? Watching the microwave cook your pizza rolls. This is just a raw ass vibe. I can't explain it to you. If you know, you know. Eating the pizza rolls. Honestly, this ain't even as good as watching the microwave. Watching a show or movie. I don't know why, but to be honest, the only show I'm in the mood for usually when I'm high is the amazing world of gumball. I can fuck up some gumball. The show is just eye candy with how colorful and nice the art is. But the times I actually watch something else, it's pretty fire. I know it's my favorite movies to watch while high is those corny ass anime love stories. I can't lie. I love that shit. If you haven't watched Weathering with you, please do. Just like Faded by Alan Walker, I, I, I cried. I, I, I teared up. That shit was beautiful! Live shows. I think since like the 60s at least, there has not been a single live musical act where there wasn't at least a few people fucked up on something. Like I'm sure even some Christian shows, there's been at least somebody in the audience greening out, listening to the gospel. I mean, live shows consistently have been the few fully socially acceptable places to do drugs. I remember I was at Grade A 2023 because I wanted to see City Morgue, and while waiting through Cemetery's silent ass set, they were not trying to open the fucking pits. Dead ass crowd. And there was like this 30 something guy sitting next to us and he offered us a roach. Going on some, hey guys, y'all want a chief dish? The fuck even is that question? Yes, bro. And let me just tell you, after that blunt, I became the biggest cemetery fan for that night. I've never listened to bro a single time in my life before that night. And I still somehow was singing along to all the lyrics. Necro if a blunt can convince someone to become a cemetery fan in two minutes, you know that shit good. Or laced. So yeah, that, that high was pretty good. Until that same 30-year-old man started telling me I should cheat on my girlfriend at the time with this random girl that was waving at us in the crowd. That, that, that was less cool. Hey man, you should just let loose in life. If those girls like you, you should entertain them. I'm gonna need you to cheat on your girlfriend. Huh? Hey, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much if you watched the whole thing all four minutes of it. There's many more things I can talk about, but I want this video to come out already. If y'all want a part two, let me know in the comments. And if you like the-